has literally become a fight on two fronts. On one hand, the government faces the Viet Cong communists, and on the other hand, it faces a revolt of the Buddhist majority, a fight which has been joined by thousands of students. The capital, Saigon, is an armed camp, as the regime of President Diem calls a mass meeting to profess faith in his rule. About 20,000 turn out to greet President Diem, who makes a rare and brief appearance. In the intrigue of palace guard politics, Madame Nu and her husband, he's head of the secret police, seem to have effectively seized power. He led the raids on Buddhist pagodas. Madame Nu has handed out marathon interviews attacking the United States and President Kennedy, saying they just don't understand what is going on. Press conferences seem to be the order of the day. The military governor of Saigon, Tan Phat Din, called one to hold foreign interventionists responsible for the riots. Just who, he didn't say. Henry Cabot Lodge took over as U.S. ambassador in the midst of the turmoil, and he is reported to have demanded that President Diem's brother Nu be ousted, or U.S. aid to Vietnam will be cut. Aid to Vietnam by the U.S. has added up to $3 billion and 14,000 men men who are called advisors, but who are in the thick of the battles against the Viet Cong Reds. U.S. helicopters are the workhorses of any battle action, the only quick means of travel in this land of swamp and jungle. When reports of the enemy come in, the whirlybirds go into action. This is a foray on the Kamau Peninsula. The communists moved into a village during the night and were cut off in a surprise action. The copters move in with South Vietnam troops to wipe them out. down in a rice paddy, and the troops run to the safety of other craft as communist snipers try to pick them off. Government losses were estimated at 26 killed and 30 wounded in the action. Most of the Red Guerrilla Band was wiped out. American observers counted at least 80 bodies. They added that it was the best action Vietnam's 7th Division has yet executed. U.S. training seems to be paying off. As in most communist hit-and-run raids in Saigon, they burned entire villages before retreating. This one on the Mekong Delta is wiped out. The government forces can do little but evacuate the villagers. Vietnam jungle battleground that holds the fate of all Southeast Asia. 